This video is a demonstration of how to match bank statement records against payment posting records in Blackline. For many organizations, this is something normally done in Excel and very time consuming. You have to download your bank statement and payment posting files to Excel. Then you got to pull up one file on your first screen, pull up the other file on your second screen, and then tediously match records one by one. Blackline automates much of this matching process. It allows you to upload both files and utilize its pass rules engine to do the matching for you. Let's take a look at an example. What we're looking at here is a bank statement file and a payment posting file uploaded into the system. The left side of my screen represents the bank transactions and the right side of my screen represents the payment posting transactions. You'll notice that it has some records that it can be matched using one to many logic. For example, this $25,000 payment on my bank statement matches up to these five payments over here on my payment posting system. It has other records that can be matched using many-to-many -many logic. In this example, the bank recorded a deposit incorrectly with an amount of $11,000 right here. So what the bank did is add a second transaction to reverse the $11,000 and then added a third transaction to correctly post it for $10,000. These three items need to match to these two items over here on my payment posting file. Both of these scenarios can be automatically matched by the system by creating pass rules. Let's take a look at how these rules are created. This is where the rules are set up. You'll see a data sources section where I brought in the bank and payment posting transactions over here. Then at the bottom down here are the two pass rules. Let's first open up the one to many rule. Here in the upper right is the grouping section for the payment posting data. That's our data source with the many transactions. By selecting the payment number field, I'm configuring the rule to group and summarize all records with the same payment number. On the bottom section down here, I'm configuring the rule to then compare the payment ID and amount on the bank file against the group and summarized amounts on the payment posting file. One big point I want to make here is how easy it is to use. One thing you'll notice about this screen is that no coding is required. Anyone within the accounting department can set these pass rules up. You won't need IT to do this. Also, note the fields for offset and range over here. This is where I can allow the system to match records with different amounts, but within a threshold. For example, I could set up this rule to match records where the amounts are within a $100 difference or are within a specified date range. Now let's take a look at how we run and execute the pass rules. So to run the pass rule, I come up here to the match engine button and click the run now. The system has now compared both files and matched all records based on the pass rules we created. To see what the system matched, I'm going to click on the match transactions and then automatic button here. This shows a summary of transactions that have been matched. The first record is telling me that three bank transactions over here were matched up to two payment posting records over here using the many to many rule. If I want to see the five detailed transactions, I'll click on the ID link over here. Now I can see the five detailed transactions. The three bank transactions are up here in this section, and the two payment posting transactions are in this, this section down here. And that's how simple it is to set up Blackline to match records from two files. It's a huge time saver for lots of companies. You could use it for bank reconciliations, subledger to GL reconciliations, 
even tracking intercompany transaction. It actually has the capability to compare records from up to three data files. So thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please contact us at info at revelwood.com.